A very good evening to you and thank you very much for tuning in to Metropole TV. Thursdays are for Metropole Debrief and that is what we are about to do for the next one hour or so. Tonight on the show, food and nutrition security in the country. A pillar in the big four agenda, the president is committed to ensuring that by 2022, Kenyans are safe from starvation. Our guest in studio, an interesting gentleman with an impeccable record in food security, both locally and internationally. He is the Deputy Governor, Kiambu County, Honorable James, um, Honorable, uh, um, sorry, his name is Dr. James Nyoro. Forgive me for that. Now, where do we start today? The Big Four agenda, according to the president, would focus on four key areas. The pillar include food security and nutrition, manufacturing, universal health coverage, and affordable and decent housing. Now, let's take a look at the details of the pillar, starting with food security and nutrition. Under this pillar, the government intends to have 100% food and nutrition security in the country. Now, what are some of the measures that the government is taking to ensure that this pillar comes to fruition? These measures include to put 700,000 acres of arable land under cultivation through public-private partnerships, increasing the average income of farmers by 34%, create 1,000 agro-processing small and medium enterprises, create 600,000 new jobs, Increase agriculture contribution to the GDP from the current 26% to 48%, 27% reduction of malnutrition among children under the age of 5, 50% in the number of food insecure Kenyans, and 47% reduction in the cost of food as percentage of income. Now, Let's put some numbers into the conversation. The Treasury allocated 460 billion Kenyan shillings for the government's big four agenda. In total, agriculture got 59.1 billion Kenyan shillings. Now, the CS allocated shillings 20.25 billion in improving food and nutrition security to all Kenyans by 2022. So this means that um, come 2022, no Kenyan should be on the brink of starvation and suffer death from this. And also by 2022, we shouldn't have cases of malnutrition in adults and in our children where it's very common. Now, 1.4 billion went to strategic food reserves. 1.9 billion cereal enhancement program cereals include maize, beans, and those in that bracket. 500 million into mechanization of agriculture because we are in the fourth industrial revolution and everything is going tech. 900 million in crop diversification. We all know the staple food in this country is maize, but we want to look at uh, diversity our food basket so we can have so much more just beside maize and then 8.5 billion would go into irrigation such as Bura, Mwaya irrigation scheme, Gulana Kulalu and Turkana. Our very own Victoria uh, Amunga was in Gulana Kulalu with CSQ and Jury just to see how the project is doing. You'll remember previously 7 billion was pumped into the project but it didn't pick up and now um the government is doing a take two to try and see if it will be a success this time round. Now, according to a report on the 2019 long range mid-season food and nutrition security review report by the Kenya Food Security Steering Group, the overall food security situation in the arid and semi-arid counties deteriorated in the month of May 2019. That was uh, just a couple of weeks ago with more households in the crisis phase of integrated phase classification. Since over 1.5 million people are said to be food insecure this month that was last month the month of june and the number is expected to rise to 2 million people this month of july now there are several factors that are being attributed to this and some of those factors include below normal rainfall performance coupled with poor temporal and uneven distribution which affected crop production in the agro-pastoral margin of agriculture now we all know most of the time agriculture in kenya is um rain fed dependent and when the rain patterns change just for a minute then uh, it destabilizes the whole agricultural sector now with all arid and semi-arid uh land areas reporting expected production of less than 40 percent just a minute this means that of all the produce that will be garnered at the end of this season, we'll have 40% less of what we need. And if we go by the numbers, we don't even produce enough to feed ourselves. So we'll have 40% less. Now, the food shortage is equally being attributed to other issues, including high food prices staple in key urban markets of Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, and Eldoret, where prices increased by 15 to 23% between April and May. This is attributed to a decrease in supply 
supply is due to declining stock held by various actors locally following below average 2018 short range harvest and reduced imports from Tanzania and Uganda. We get a lot of our maize from Tanzania and Uganda, but because of stiffer rules and uh, diplomatic wrangles here and there, we remember there was a saga between maize farmers in the Rift Valley. Um, they were claiming that they were the real maize farmers, but people imported maize from their alleged countries and sold to the government. There has also been a question of pests, particularly fall armyworms, which attacked maize, and they were also another factor. Now, for poor households that did not have resources rather to procure controlled chemicals, harvests have been reportedly to be significantly below average in these areas. Now, a lot of numbers, and we're just saying Kenyans might be on the brink of starvation, but which counties to be precise now among the counties that will be hit hard including include rather Turkana county where 270,900 people are reported to be food insecure last month and it's estimated to rise to 325,100 people by the end of this month now in total 1 million 291,400 people are food insecure last month and a total of 2 million people will be food insecure this month. That is the month of July. You guys, let those numbers sink in. 2 million people. Now, while Kenya struggles with food security, some countries in Africa have excelled at this. According to the Africa Benchmark Report 2017, Tunisia tops the continent with security score of 68.2, followed by Mauritius 67.3, Morocco 64.3, Algeria 63.8, and finally Egypt at 60. These recent revelations form the basis of our conversation tonight. With the government out to ensure a food secure nations, Kenyans, 2 million Kenyans to be precise, are on the brink of starvation. What is the way forward? We take a short breather. When we come back, the doctor himself will be putting this into perspective. <laughs>